Good morning. Um, I just have to point out, I always feel like I'm trying to be a radio DJ when I record these with like the headsets and the microphone and I promise I'm not. It's just the most efficient way. So I want to start today's lesson by going over the expectations of our hour of code coursework. And the expectation is that you work through all of the lessons and you follow along with what's been taught in the beginning instructional video so that you can build on your skills because all of the skills in these coding activities are layered so it's going to build on each challenge prior to and there's all of these instructional videos built into the course to help you with vocabulary that's going to be coming up in upcoming challenges. And when I was looking through for grades at the end of the week, I noticed that there was a lot of skipping around. So I can see this is course D, so this would be a second or third grade course. And as I'm scrolling through, I can see that, you know, this student didn't do the first set of challenges worked through half the second set and then just skipped ahead. And I know that it's super tempting because some of the topics like the make art and the Minecraft, some of the Angry Bird challenges, they're more fun to do for you than some of the others. But again, the skills are building on each other. So you wanna make sure that you're not skipping around. See, I have a whole bunch that skipped this first session and some of them might be the unplugged videos, but those unplugged videos are just as important. Even though we're not actually doing the activity in class, they provide you with a concrete example of that algorithm that you're gonna be working on and those codes that you're gonna be working on in class. So you wanna make sure that you're watching those unplugged activities too, okay? Because look at this. This student has taken a dip in almost all of the sections, but has only finished one and I'm grading the finished sections. So we need to make sure that we are definitely clicking on a little bit of everything and going in order. Okay, so I want to go over with you guys again the basics of your course pages. Um, these are the directions. You definitely want to read those. You can press this play button to hear them read out loud. And then up here are the dots that I take for a grade later on. So you want to make sure, not skipping around, that every single one of these dots is filled in green because that's what I'm looking for when I'm taking grades on this coursework. Okay, so let's look at Today we are going to be exploring events. That's going to be the newest topic for you. And events are things that a you program to occur so because of something here the event is going to be when you click the left arrow on a keyboard so if you click the left arrow your item is going to move left if you click the right arrow where do you want it to go you want it to go right it's kind of a cause and effect type thing so whenever the right arrow is clicked this is going to happen Okay, so we press run, and you see the hand moves back and forth as it was programmed. And I can go back to both baskets, okay? Which is what the direction said. It's going to continue to get more and more eventful. This is kind of what I talked to you about with Alexa or Google Home. There's all of these event codes and functions programmed into it so that when it hears your voice say a certain word, it knows what to do. This is the same thing. So when the ball hits the hand, what do you want it to do? You need to think about what event you want to happen when what you want the cause of this event to be, what you want to happen because of it.